This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Capes and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Hey, what about our Comic Capers podcast? <laughs> what about it? Oh, <laughs> Back a little hellfire. That's right. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Papers, episode ninety-four. That's right. This is what we said. We're gonna cover some Daredevil. The rest of the year, Daredevil. And I hear Canada. Uh, and I hear Australia going. Yeah. That's right. I am Phil. Joining me as always. Justice yeah, Swift. Just say her justice may not be blind, but it is swift. And harsh. That's right. That's right. So, what do we cover? Uh, an era that uh, me and Ray really like because it's some of our early Daredevil reading. Phil there. only does the podcast for Ray, in case you guys don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Jan. <laughs> Hey, I don't see a lot of people doing, like, 80s and 90s stuff. Come on. I know. I tease. I kid. Yeah, I see people it's saying... Fine. This is a good... Phil Pick has good taste, for the most part, outside of Captain America and U.S. Agent. Out there. But I was gonna... But I, like... The one day I saw online, someone was, like, saying, oh, you know, we did, it like, a vintage issue or classic issue. It was, like, tw- 2010. I'm like, really? Get that fetus out of here! <laughs> That fetus probably only knows Sean Astin from Stranger Things. You're canceled. It just seems like a lot of these people haven't read comics like before Civil War, the Marvel one. Yikes! Yeah. Yikes! Yeah, exactly. So, but no, we are talking Daredevil. He's here to school, you son. <laughs> two eighty four through two ninety. So September nineteen ninety through March nineteen ninety one. It was a good good time. So anyway, a little backstory on this. Uh, Daredevil had been wandering around upstate after the events of Inferno. Uh, Inferno! Took a little trip to our old buddy Mephisto's realm. Luckily, he had no marriage to sell. Hashtag still bitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he came back. He was acting a little goofy. <laughs> Remember our Streets of Poison uh, coverage? Uh, yeah, he ran into Captain America, who's also acting goofy. Because he was on the drugs, kids. The drugs. So... Yeah, the so. juice was on the loose! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this one picks up. Daredevil has returned to New York. Alright, so, yeah. Like I said, the first one is Daredevil 284. The Daily Bugle. At least we have that. Remember this? I mean, I don't think they really play this up anymore. I don't know if they want him to be truly blind, but remember when he could read regular print with his fingertips? Yeah. Like, I don't think they do that anymore, do they? No, I th- I think that might, you know, they, they might want him to do a little braille, you know, oh, for yeah. the representation. But the way his powers work, does he even need it, really? Like, just bang it against a wall or something? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's how your powers work. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was expecting that drop from Charlie. You were breathing, so I assumed you were okay. But, you know, we can move on. <laughs> Well, we didn't say anything about leaving kids to their own devices. <laughs> you were still breathing, so I assumed you were okay. Not right now. Not without supervision. Basically, that's how I feel about Daredevil. The poor kid is like almost Tony Level Starks of Captain of, be- of being captains of bad life decisions. So. I know. He's just standing <laughs> and there. It starts with that woman. Oh, he's standing there. He's just standing there, in like the, on the middle of the sidewalk, reading his daily people with his fingertips. He's like, wait a minute, Daredevil. <laughs> Like, come on! I know. Well, like I said, he's not thinking straight. Daredevil's still missing. What's such a big deal? How long have oh. I been gone? Can't keep track of time now. I guess you don't have this to. This is a great team, though. This is like, if you don't know, this is during the Anno Sinti and Lee Weeks uh, era. Oh, yes. So, just want to throw that out there. Great team. Great team. Like I said, yeah, this... Well, this... And if we have an interview on the on the podcast somewhere. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
Or what? did you did you lock that behind a paywall on Patreon? Well, I did put that up on our Patreon along with our uh, DG, DG Chichester interview. It's like a big special. Well, there you go, guys. You had your chance to listen live. Now it's on Patreon if you're interested. And Phil gives good interview. And Lilf is a part of that DG Chichester interview, so. Uh, so, yes, we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're covering, like, the last of uh, Andocenti's run, and we'll run right into that DG Chichester uh, run. I, I love when Daredevil does, like, you know, gives us, like, the gangster, like, early Batman vibes. <laughs> Like, yes, you know, really feed into his or like I dig Daredevil's origin a lot. So yes. I like when we kind of get references to that. Oh yeah, you see this little gangster guy who basically doesn't just look at him. It's Bugsy Siegel. What's he? What's he? What's he gonna do to this woman? But then he like burned himself on his cigarette. Looks like somebody's not competent. Someone's not competent at their job. I was like, who is this Jubilee? With a mohawk, does she have? Does she have writing tattooed on the side of her head. Might be, you know, it was you know that it was that it was that era where you know everybody was very punk in New York. Well, yeah. But then back at the <laughs> match, is walking across a bridge. Be careful! You might run into a Stacy or two. <laughs> Beware falling blondes. He's like, what do I have left in this? You know, thinking, what do I have left in this city? It seems so unfamiliar now. I love the girl named Karen. Uh oh! Is he about to? Boo! Is he about to break out in song? Whatever. I happened? mean, it is New York City. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? I remember our times together so well. Well, yeah. Well, she left you in the hospital when you started moaning tight. Ty- you know, Mary's typhoid Mary's name. I mean, as you do. And then you ran. Clearly, up. the better love interest. Clearly, although they have a kind of an icky thing, but it's it's fine. I, I'll allow it this one time. And then you, and then instead of looking for her, you ran away from New York. So that's what happened. So yeah, he's like, oh, she trusted me. That's someone needs a shave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And those smart enough not to trust me, my enemies. They say, oh, he's thinking about the kingpin. Boy, talk about a, a song and dance, two people being secretly in love with each other like Batman and Joker. It's Kingpin and Daredevil. That's Marvel's version. I'm sorry. But yeah, just Kingpin, you couldn't kill me. I'm the only one in your league. The one who, the only one who really challenges you. Bullseye and everyone else is like, I'm over here. <laughs> uh, The hand. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Daredevil, was he right? I saved his life once. Do I enjoy my enemies? typhoid a few months back she kicked my guts out see i told you mm-hmm. you must hate yourself for being stupidly in love with me in love with an evil thing you hate that you love me so good it hurts so good it hurts all right calm down little boyfriends <laughs> and that is, and that is why i can relate to daredevil <laughs> mm. <clears throat> some busted up life daredevil left behind in new york uh, now we're sounding like we're getting to a musical. Couldn't beat up my enemies, so I beat my friends. So I went the hell and back for it. Get it? Because he did literally get it. I know. <laughs> and then he's thinking, there's no such place it had to have been a dream. You're Catholic. Of course there's a place in hell for you. <laughs> exactly. But then the, this cabbie yells out to him, good to have you back. How many weeks of my life have I been dreaming, hallucinating? Uh, how arrogant of me to believe I went the hell to, and beat the devil. I mean, Mephisto, there's loopholes. It's fine. I mean, the Silver Surfer came in and, you know, hope you get out of there. <laughs> well, it's not you, buddy. Calm down. I know. It just, like, totally forgets the Silver Surfer showed up. I remember a surreal conversation with Captain America days ago. <laughs> when they were both out acting loopy. Juice is on the loose! Um, uh, crazy. <laughs> is it, though? <laughs> Uh, why did Captain America beat up the Daredevil? Because the Devil's Name here isn't a hero, that's why. Daredevil's a deluded... Jersey would like to have a word with you. Oh! (laughs) Because as he's thinking, the Daredevil was an illusion searching for truth, and for this he was beat out of existence. Meanwhile, there's a shadowy figure up in the... climbing the bridge for some reason. Unless he's following Daredevil, I don't know. But meanwhile, back to the mugging. (laughs) Not Mrs. Muggings, though. This, oh my lord. She's, the, the, the girl's just laughing in his face. He's like, come on, babe. Oh, my lord, his name is even Babyface. 
Because you're just a frail, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he even says, I'm scary, see? I'm scary, see? I'm scary. <laughs> say, quit laughing. I know. And then Daredevil sees him from a fire escape. That girl, is she robbing that man? I better help the poor guy. Oh, God. Who's mugging who? I'm back in hell. They're Angels! I'm back in hell. They're both victims. Okay, break it up. Yeah, yeah, nothing to see here. And then the baby face takes a swing at Daredevil and actually hits him because Daredevil's hallucinating. All these fists, which one? Whoa. <laughs> uh, Lilith. How dare you? <laughs> Look at Whoa, his face! I'm just big. saying. I know. <clears throat> Whoa, that's pretty damn they big. They give him the classic pow, too. Look at that. You got knocked out by freaking I know, man. He baby old, face Nelson over here. Give him the old, uh, <laughs> he gave me the old Adam West. He's like, my face? My fist? My fist did that? No. Wait till my gang hears about this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so, god. So then they show him, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, telling all the guys, there's no way out. <laughs> Bear Daredevil, big as a house and tough as spit. So I said, spit, get it. So I says to the Rhymes babe, with something else. <laughs> oh my. That's the cur- that that's the comic book equivalent. Yes, and then they're all laugh. The three, well, there's four of them, but the three Stooges are laughing. <laughs> Tough as fit. Don't leave out Shim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's make old baby face prove it. Yeah, prove it. Louis the lip, you button it, say. Eh? <laughs> mm, all right, but if I do it, I knock him out. I'm the new kingpin. You got it. I think the old kingpin um, might have something to that's say. That's not how that works. I think the old kingpin might have something to say about that. Yeah. You're definitely not going to knock him out. <laughs> then we see a figure in black reading the paper. Hero. Bah! I hate heroes. God. And then Daredevil's walking past the newsstand again. Those newspapers. Uh-oh. Those newspapers. I hear their shapes, I, but I can't read them. Maybe if I touch them. But why? I'm not blind. Yeah, kids. He's off the rails. He is too far gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Newspapers tell you nothing. Crime on the rise. City's insane. Same what old stuff. Why bother to change things? Fake news. I need a drink. Hell's yeah. I, no, I know. For some reason he's going full of hellfire. Yeah, he runs right to the bar. Last exit. Jeez. Well, that's not foreshadowing or anybody touching something right on the nose, eh? <laughs> so he walks in. Everyone's like, oh, oh hey, Daredevil. How you doing? Uh, this Dare- is one jumping little bar, ain't it? <laughs> I know. Daredevil's been missing. Don't you read? It's in the papers. Read the papers. Huh. I don't like being lied to. Fake news. Wait, you're all wearing wings and horns tonight? What is he on? Uh, uh, what's a... Ma- uh, then this little guy's like, hey, you want to play a game of pool? You dope. You always lose. Daredevil, sure, I'll play. And then again, we see the man in black breaking into a nice fancy uh, penthouse to steal some art. Cue the music, but we don't want to get a, a DC a, a DCMA strike, so we won't. <laughs> but you know the song. You know the song we're thinking of. Yes. And then we see Babyface and his gang looking for Daredevil. Hey, I, why go looking for trouble? Just, just, just be happy running your little corner racket. You know, just come on. A good dick is patient as a spinster. Whoa. Uh, I don't know what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what's going on. Oh, but look, yeah, we're back to the the burglar in black. Gets caught by a security guard. Takes a... Knocks the gun out of his hand with a CD. There's a clue. (laughs) Disarmed him with a CD. As the kids are like, what's a CD? Mm. I, I can't wait until playing CDs is vintage, like playing uh, vinyl is vintage right <gasps> oh, now. That's going to be so awesome when we're like 60, Phil. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thanks. So. When we're 60, yeah. <laughs> well, me. Me and Danielle, anyway. <laughs> uh, so Daredevil's playing pool. Uh, eight ball. <laughs> He's seen four eight balls, so he misses the eight ball. So then this little guy wins. I did it. <laughs> They're like, first man to beat DD. <laughs> and then what do you kind of ex- a game did you expect from a blind man? Blind man? What's he talking about? <laughs> I love everybody's laughing. Yeah. And then Daredevil's walking down the street. Oh, look. 
Looks like a boarded up free law clinic. Hmm. I wonder who started Ooh. that. And I wonder how it closed when someone just abandoned everybody. Hmm. You can't depend on Foggy to do everything, mm. damn it. Well, no, him and Foggy had separated at, at this yeah, point. Yeah, no, exactly. Because Foggy had went for the big money. He was working for the kingpin, see? You know, sometimes you need your seed money, bro. Don't judge him. I know. So, yeah, baby facing the gang. Fine Daredevil. He don't look so tough in real life. Look at, <laughs> look at Dad. He's just a regular cat. He's, uh, he's, he's one beer short of a six-pack, so, you know. You go in yellow on us? Go gangbusters? I'm just, I was just waiting for, yeah, hit him with the chin music, see? I know! I lo- like I said, I love the, like, she kind of, like, leans into, like, the old-timey gangster stuff. Like, it's hilarious. So, yeah, Babyface throws a punch after spinning into his hand. Um, okay. Ew! Yeah. Ew! But this time, Daredevil catches it. Ew! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He is Daredevil. Because he's spinning his fist, get it? You know, like, mm, you said he caught it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you growing? Older, tougher, multiplying? Must be hallucinating, like the four eight balls. So hit all four eight balls. <laughs> As he leaps at him and starts taking them out. He's swaggering, swinging at nothing. So he's still hitting us with a gas or a punch? Caught me right in the dream box. Jeez. So yeah. There he goes. Daredevil's hallucinating that they're demons, and he's like... One thing I learned in hell is if you want the violence to stop, you have to stop fighting. Just stop fighting. So he drops his billy club. <laughs> so then they just start beating on him. But then I, I lo- did it! I'm the kingpin! I'm the king of the world! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> then the man in black up on a flagpole takes out the goons with a bunch of uh, pocket change. So they go running. And the man in black comes down. Why did you let them beat you? I'm sick of fighting. Don't you recognize me? No, should I? Why'd you save me? I didn't. And he pulls off Daredevil's mask. Wanted to see the face of a hero. You look familiar, Daredevil. Daredevil, my name is Jack. Just plain Jack. Just plain Jack. Or, if you're a Will and Grace fan, just Jack. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, this is rich. Better than I dreamed. So, later, back at the bar. Yeah, there's all these police reports. People are spraying uh, shadow men on the wall. Like, almost look like uh, Shadows of Daredevil. Yikes. And again, crime is on the rise because Daredevil's still missing. It's like, okay. So but you have all those other heroes every, in your Everyone's court? forgot Spider Man. Everyone's forgot Moon Knight. Everyone's Apparently. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that, I'm sorry. Moon Knight Burn. won't be remembered until 2020. I'm so sorry to tell you. Yeah. 2021. Burn! Oh, and you sent in a long feedback, right? You gave her the long one, right? And she's just... Well, it's true. I'm happy. I'm happy for the character, and I'm happy for Ray. He's finally getting some long overdue recognition. I know. Uh... You know, those that the Moon Knight will sell toys, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, pff, yeah. Not just to the collectors, either, because I know there's tons of really great detailed, like, you know, collector stuff, but I mean, like, just mainstream stuff kids can play with, you know? Moon, this is really going to be that thing for Moon Knight. Moon copters, I mean. Exactly. Literally, no offense, right? Literally Marvel's Batman on that front. Oh! <laughs> right in the right in the dream box. Batman. I'm just having merchandise-wise, you know? I know. Because, I mean, what can you do with Spider-Man? Ooh, we're going to sell another set of web shooters. Oh, my God. What the F? I mean, Just yeah, saying. I mean, you'd sell that big mansion, you know, secret entrance. Is and- that a playset? A $200 playset? Come on. Secret- call me, call me Marvel. If you need ideas for toys, I got you. Secret entrance and uh, girlfriend in lingerie included. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like that Ghostbusters set. <laughs> oh, there's a girl. There's a girl in lingerie? What? Well, she's definitely not as frumpy as the, <laughs> the movie version. Oh, hell. <laughs> but, anyway, um, But yeah. no, this issue ends with uh, Matt Murdock sitting in the bar dressed like the man in black. What? <laughs> what is going on? Great devil's advocate column, by the way. But <laughs> Great name. They really... I, I miss the days when they used to really go all in and... Oh, weren't yeah. afraid of the cheese. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, that's when 285 opens, and someone is swinging around dressed in Daredevil's costume. The man without mercy! Uh-oh! That's not what you want! <laughs> that's right. So yeah, everyone sees Daredevil swinging around, and they're saying, Oh, there's Daredevil. Thank God, he'll clean up crime. <laughs> we can walk the streets without fear again. <laughs> can you, though? Uh, I know it's New York. <laughs> exactly! I may have got to sleep sometime. And and don't you just love the, the, the Saints hat that he's wearing? Get it, guys? <laughs> nice touch. I know Matt Murdock's on the street. Who the heck is that? Pretty darn flashy. No, that's a guy on a power trip. What's he trying to prove? Enter the Shadow Man. <laughs> yeah. Also, another song we can't play, but you know the song we're thinking of. <laughs> So yeah, so he's like, let's see, where was I going? Oh, home. To find the home of Jack Murdoch. Because he believes his name is Jack Murdoch. Because mm, remember, Spider-Man has responsibility. Daredevil has daddy issues. Everybody's just like, um, are issues. we going to send in the clone or not? Oh! <laughs> At this point. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Spider-Man has responsibility. Daredevil has parent issues. It's what you do. You know, he has dad, he has dad issues. You have to have a floating head of guilt or you're not a good superhero in the Marvel Universe. His, his it's, why, it's why Fantastic Four gets no respect. <laughs> he, he has, you know, he, his, you know, he's, his dad is his floating head of guilt. His mother is the reason why he stops everything with, in a skirt. <laughs> Classic Freudian psychology, people. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's thinking, oh, I must have hit my head, fallen, hit my head, lost my memory. Yeah, because that's how that works. I mean, in the Marvel Universe, True. you might have shook hands with Norman Osborn. I don't know. It's oh, definitely contagious. Contact. It's definitely contagious. Contact tracing. <laughs> and he's thinking, the name fits like a skin, but where did I see it before I was knocked out? And he's walking past the fish market, and he's like, what's with my How about eye? you go sleep with the fishes, Matt? Just, just get out of my face. <laughs> he's like, what's wrong with my eyes? I see them as a contour, as a map. I've... <laughs> I, You're blind, buddy. You gotta come to terms with it. <laughs> I know. They're stench. I can taste it. What color are they? And the man. It's shape, form, surface, but blank. Colorless. I'm blind, but I sense vision. That pounding like a heartbeat. My God, I hear his heartbeat. <laughs> but that's just impossible. And then he sees a young, a young, a young boy stealing an apple. Don't steal. Why not? I'm hungry. Hmm. So am I. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. Mind your business. Get it, get it, kids. Is it all right to steal if you're hungry? Not if you're in the freaking world of Les Mis. Heaven help you if you steal a loaf of bread. Am I right, musical nerds? Oh, good lord. Uh, but yeah, so Matt's talking to the kid. Basically torturing himself about stealing the apple, but then... His dog starts barking, and he's like, shut your dog up. My ears hurt. <laughs> I was going to say, really not right on cue, you little bastards. <laughs> I thought we had one agreement. This is your moment to shine. Sad no up. place for showbiz. You're going to make me have to go adopt a kid. Thanks, guys. Thanks. It's Saturday morning. The minute you got out of the bed, they all jumped in your bed. No, they they ran out to there. They have a whole room. Oh, oh <laughs> so they're gonna jump on the bed. Oh, it's nice and comfy. And she leaves the bottles open, kids. <laughs> I only have one dog that likes the liquor. Okay, <laughs> one dog. She left the fu she left the funny tasting water. <laughs> oh, look at this! It's a green apple, though. That's kind of a choice. No. <laughs> Granny Smith? I mean, it might be controversial, but come on. Give me a Fiji. Give me a Gala. I don't dig green apple. Unless it's, you know, green apple flavored liquor. That's it. <laughs> they wanted original sin. Get it? I get it, but I don't think it was green is my point. <laughs> I don't see no snake though. You, how do you know? You weren't there. True. Touche. It wasn't even an apple, so it's fine. <laughs> Your name ain't Eve. No, it's Lilith. So, yeah, I was there. Oh, Joke's oh, on you! <laughs> true, true. <laughs> oh, yeah, you started this whole thing. That's right. Excuse uh, me for demanding equality. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, see? Just because you come from that rib, see? <laughs> Take it back! You can have it! Whoa. Thank you for the job. 
And then over on 48th Street, some uh, guys complaining to the cops about Daredevil. Hey, buddy, this is Chief Bucko. <laughs> what is that? What kind of last name is that? <laughs> well, he's a ginger, so that's your clue. Oh, yeah. Touche, touche. Uh, and oh, and I guess the patrolman, his name is Charlie. <laughs> How rich. Like, she really leaned into the tropes, you know? I love it. Hey, we're doing me now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> But the guy's like, yeah, Daredevil jumped down and grabbed my wallet and bag. Arrest Daredevil. Wait, the dude's in the purse? But that, yeah, Bucko is saying, yeah, Daredevil's not a thief. And the guy's like, I can prove it. Look, then he grabs my umbrella and says, it's not going to rain today. Point oh, to- my God. Emphysema Slims. Don't smoke, kids. I love it. Great job. I know. <laughs> because some, quote unquote, Daredevil took the guy's umbrella and put it right between the eyes of the woman on the billboard. Hmm. Clue. Clue me. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Clue. Here's your anvil. <laughs> so then, what? Three streets over on Forty Fifth Street, uh, a judge gets attacked because these guys, <coughs> uh, an old black judge gets attacked by these young white guys. Well, they don't look too young, but they're like, "Oh, you locked up all our buddies and let your black guys go." Blah. Hmm. Reverse of what it is like in real life, eh? Oh! <laughs> Especially in New York. Don't Burn. at me. <laughs> at justice, okay? Oh. <laughs> Don't at me. You contact justice. <laughs> uh, so Matt's still... Wa- oh. You can't threaten a judge, um, sir. They just did. You better come up with something better than that. <laughs> Seriously. So yeah, Matt's walking down the street, then he hears a voice say, Freeze! Freeze, sucker! <laughs> oh look look at this young lady painting his uh shadow with the horns now you're one of the shadow men uh oh yep oh look oh he asks her her name after she's walking away Nyla Skin those of you who may those of you who may have read Conan by Hunt for the Serpent Crown that was her only other appearance after this arc yeah we never saw her again except for that one time she hey, we can bring her back. We we need more representation in Marvel. No shade. Well, she, oh yeah, <laughs> C- C- Serpent Crown was not that long ago, so yeah. Well, it was for Conan fans, but you know. <laughs> well, what like a couple months ago? We can never have enough. Don't you listen to Charlie and I? We can never have enough. It's never too much. <laughs> Thank you, love. <laughs> you want the drop? God smiled on you today, fellow. I know. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Sorry to make you listen to all this, little uh, so yeah, so she walks away after painting his silhouette. Oh, and then we see the judge getting beat by these young, four young guys to take down one one old judge. Okay. As you do when you're a punk, you know? Not not the good punk, but, you know. Yeah. And then, oh, look, there's quote-unquote Daredevil swinging over. Look at that. Those punks don't even know how to beat up an old man. No style. No <laughs> punk. Who is this little punk? I know, jeez. <laughs> so yeah, so no style, lame punches. They swing like drunks. Four of them standing around like they're cool for beating up one old black guy. Hmm, is this is this issue super relevant to 2020? Probably, maybe. <laughs> well, again, it's, pro- it's unfortunately it's super relevant to any year, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Well, good luck, chump. If you're lucky, they won't leave you alive. As quote unquote, there double just swings away. Cause hey, <laughs> <laughs> see you later, book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because he's got he's got a uh, another uh, penthouse to rob. Oh, it's because he's got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh, we'll see what he's got, what he has to do. <laughs> see you later, bunky. Ooh, the statue wrote in. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, a hey, look at that! Because, oh, yeah, yeah, look who has him again. Oh my god, good eye, sucker! Because, yes, it's so a, hilarious. It's a woman in a robe. I didn't Not think... open far enough for my liking, but it's fine. Hey-o. I'll allow it. I didn't hear you came when you came in. Of course not. I was passed out behind the couch, a head full of sleeping pills. As you do. I was just getting up to swallow a few more hours worth when you came in. 
Uh, I didn't know about this nasty habit of the famous Daredevil. <laughs> you sure got an eye for masterpieces? Oh yeah, beautiful lady. I sure I got an eye for masterpieces. <laughs> Oh my god, I love how it's like, now put it down before I turn you into a piece of conceptual art called Dead and Red all over. Yes! Cute. Love it. But then, back, even says, back to Jack. <laughs> but why? Well, he's walking down the street and he hears the judge's heartbeats uh, slowing down. So yeah, he's cheating. Because the judge is just laying on the street. It's New York. Everybody's just going to pretend like nothing's nothing's happening. It's fine. Don't goes, make eye contact. And Matt goes to check his wallet for ID. He's like, oh, I forgot I can't read. <laughs> and the guy's like, the, guy's like don't, the judge is like, you don't, if you're looking to rob me, don't waste your time. They already did that. And Matt's like... I was going to get you to the hospital, but now with your sarcastic little tone, you know, I'm yeah. going to leave you here to die. <laughs> so Matt's like, yeah, I'm going to take you to the hospital. And the judge is like, no, just take me home. Uh, nice block you live on. I'm a judge. We get paid all right. Of course, a little cash to compensate for the re- relentless futility of the job. Mm, judges, I mean, especially if you live in New York, I'm just gonna say. Not really. Not true. Yes. So Matt takes him home when they meet his, uh, the judge's son, Marcus. Justice is a sham. I kind of agree sometimes. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, the judge's son wants to go and find these guys and... Uh, the judge is like, no, Marcus, your father is a judge. I do not practice with my fist. The law works, but only if you stand by it. Never uh-huh. resort to violence or of your enemies. Never fall to their level. Yeah, because Matt's like, this seems so familiar. A father and son arguing about using your fists. Hmm. <laughs> oh, convenient plot point is very convenient. Uh, I just don't fool. Uh, the, yeah, the son's like, I just don't But fool. I like it. It's mm-hmm. very good use. Uh, so then Matt leaves with Marcus. Uh. And Matt wants to help, and uh, Marcus is like, you know, or no, Marcus is like, I'll have to escort Dad to court every day and back, and Matt says he'll help. Could you? Tomorrow at 9 o'clock? <laughs> oh, and then Marcus sees some cops, like, let's cross the street. Look at Matt befriending all these black people. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> let's cross the street. Why? Cops. Why? What are you afraid of? Afraid of? I'm black. A black man walking at night always gets hassled by cops. I mean, wow. <laughs> this is 2020, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, New York's been like that for quite a long time. And yeah. Quite a long time. <laughs> Frisk, what is it? Uh, stop and frisk or whatever. Very notorious policy. Oh, so. yeah. Glad to see Anne Nocenti was up on her New York uh, police shenanigans back then. Uh, and then back to quote unquote Daredevil. The, the, the woman's just like, Jules Cash, you can have it all. It's not mine anyway. I had a good career as a model. It's all insured, sucker. I had a good career as a model, but I had to marry this rich old disgusting lug for his money. He won't let me work. He's a stingy old man, always holding his money over my head. I hate him. Here, take this too. <laughs> uh, if your life is so miserable, if your life is so miserable, Melania, why don't you just leave? Oh, ooh, ooh, no, come on. Shh, wait until at least we get the results on the third. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. We're American, if you didn't know, so you know what we're going through right now. <laughs> yeah, come on, Ray. You can make all these jokes. Come on. Oh, why? Why bother? It's okay. scary out there without money. Preach! Ah! You made your bed. I know, so lie in it. You could take me out of here. Please take me with you. He's like, maybe, but first put down the gun as he uses that little oh. statue to <laughs> knock the gun out of her hand. Uses a statue to knock the gun out of her hand. Clue. Anvil number two. There's your anvil. Oh, this is like the third or fourth anvil, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and then we see Matt going to uh, meet Nyla in a burned out building. So that's where they're going to sleep, I guess. Aww. And she's talking about a job about going to rob some rich people. Who are on vacation. Uh oh. Steal? I don't think. <laughs> don't yell at me for stealing. What's my choice? Should I go on welfare or get a job flipping burgers for four bucks an hour? No thanks. We're into redistributing the wealth. No! Eat the rich and burn it down! <laughs> That's what you do! Burn! Just saying. It's good for them. It lightens their spirit to be weighed down by a few less possessions. Ah, the philosophy of minimal- minimalism. Yes. Uh, oh shit, they're yeggs and rotters. 
There are decent Yuck. thieves that only rip off the super rich. They're good yeggs. That's us. I never steal from the poor. I'm no rotter. Mm. Here, you need a mask, just in case. So oh, oh! Look what he's doing! He puts it around his eyes. No eye holes. She's like, no eye holes. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting Netflix TV show flashbacks. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know who I am or where I came from. I have no friends I can recall. No possessions. No home. Yeah, because I'm fat guy. blew it up. There's something wrong with my eyes. I think I'm partially... She said make your eye holes first, you idiot. I know. I think I'm partially <laughs> blind. But for that, somehow I see just fine. Uh, so she's like, yeah, get some sleep. Then we'll see if Jack Murdoch makes a good thief. Ruining daddy's good name. I mean, is oh. he though? It's kind. Of, it's kind of on par. <laughs> oh, look at this ad on the last page. No letters page, but we get the extinction agenda. Won't it? Oh wait, wait! Can't even do that song. They definitely need the money. They'll come after us. <laughs> hmm. X Men crossover. The extinction agenda. Hmm. Come back. Boo! <laughs> we don't talk about the extinction agenda. Oh, shut up, Lilith Hellfire. 2021 is going to be... I know. Banging. I know. It's fine. Phil loves to hurt me every now and then. It's fine. <laughs> I give you some X-Men. Come on, shut up. <laughs> the X-Men nobody asked for. <laughs> it's 90s X-Men. Come on. Gratuitous. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so up to 2 6 Matt's dreaming about being in court. Being the terrible lawyer that he is. <laughs> oh, look, different pencil or in this one. Uh, some young fellow named Greg Capullo. Oh, look at that baby Greg Capullo. Look at it. I'm trying to remember 1990. Uh, and we never saw him again. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, he went on to work on Quasar. Uh, no wonder I never saw him again. I'm kidding. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> you know I love my boys over at the Quantum Zone. It's fine. Hey, what about the Quantum Zone? <laughs> oh, you just love the mess with me, don't you? What about our Quasar podcast, the Quantum Zone? What about our Quasar podcast? <laughs> <sighs> the Duck and Lilith. <laughs> Duck and Lilith. Uh, you know, Capullo worked on some little book called, I don't know. Batman. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Kid did good for himself. Proud of him. That's true. Suck it, Kona. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fair, fair. Everyone gets it's their automated time. now. <laughs> Everyone gets their equal time. Yeah. Lilith is even more robotic and un- unfeeling. <laughs> ah, just the way I love it. <laughs> hey, well. So yeah, so he's Matt Dreamy's in court with the judge and Nyla. He's sleeping with the fishes. Oh, true. How do you plead guilty? Guilty of everything. I deserve nothing. No, I'm not blind yet. <laughs> I'm the part that's still innocent. Yeah, Justice like, is blind, blind and so am I. <laughs> Justice is, is impossible unless you're sure you're right. Hey. I can't move. Would some coffee get you moving? So he wakes up and I like it. Only dressed. your bowels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Matt just gets up and put all, puts on his hat. You always sleep in your clothes. You also snore, you know. <laughs> He said he's having a wacky dream. I think I dreamt some clues to my lost identity. I'm starting to get a sense of who I am. I think I may have been a criminal. I was on trial for something. You know. Much like Barry Allen, it was a sham. <laughs> well, no, he thinks he thinks he was a criminal. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. Just, but he, he has been on trial before, so. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't, li- Nyla, I can't believe you li- live in these ruins. Why? Everyone's life is in ruins. <laughs> I'm just one of the. Few, I'm just one of the few that will admit it and look at it. Oh my lord! Nihilistic viewpoint, loving it. I was gonna say this is you. Everyone yeah, lives in rebel. <laughs> Suck it. Uh. So yeah, as Matt and Nyla go to rob this place, oh look who swings by. <laughs> Flipping my way downtown, and I'm homebound. <laughs> Whip it. I think that's I think that's the daredevil, isn't it? It is, but it looks like he's flipping. It so. does, it does. <laughs> that damn Billy Club. <laughs> hey <Well. laughs> I love how he's just gonna pull this poor girl up right up the side of the building. I know, he shows her how to climb up the side of the building. I remember a young man who showed me how to climb up the sides of buildings. Almost like a spider. <laughs> so. Spidey man. <laughs> He shows her how to use a crowbar. They uh, open the skylight. 
And then he's like, hold on. He's good at this. I mean, I'm saying you're not good as being a lawyer, so you might want to. Wait this a might second. be a secondary uh, choice here. I hear a heartbeat. There's someone here. So he knocks out the guard and then he uses his hearing to open the uh, wall safe. I mean, honestly, he's made for it, bro. I know. <laughs> She's like, how'd you open that so fast? I don't know. Sure is strange. It's like I can hear too well. Must have something to do with my bad vision, see? Get it? And then he's like, uh, then he's like, Nyla, we're leaving. We're not taking anything. What? Boo! I may have been a criminal, but I'm sure I wasn't a thief. That's right. You were a lawyer. <laughs> so, I'm saying difference. Oof. But she's like, shout out to my pro bono lawyers, though. Mm. Yeah. But she's like, we only take from the super rich. We're only what they won't miss. We'll give it back. We redistribute wealth. It's okay. And he's like, no. We're Robin Hoods. Get it? He's like, no. If everyone did this, there would be anarchy. Boo. Shut up, white man. Shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. She's like, justice. You know, what's that? You know that what, whose place this is? A Wall Street yuppie who got rich fast on junk bonds. He made, Hello? He made a fortune on a legal scam. While welfare is cut on poor Harlem mothers with no husbands. Damn, Reagan there much? Uh -huh. And then he's, he starts, starts walking away. She's like, where are you going? I just remembered. I have to walk. He judged the work so he doesn't get beat up. Elsewhere in Manhattan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Marcus is thinking, that guy Jack was nice to offer to walk dad to work, but he's just a stranger. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Marcus is on the subway. Seeing all these white people moving away from him, except for that old lady. He's like, my favorite game is scare the white folk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cindy, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't be letting them in on all the good stuff we're thinking about. <laughs> How does she know? She's not even black. <laughs> exactly. Very keen observance <laughs> is what I would would imagine. But, but yeah, the only one that doesn't move is this old lady. who's probably seen now anyway. Uh, oh, my lord. And the guys are back to threaten the judge again. Like clockwork. In his home. Yeah. Oh, and the boss, who I believe is it Nick, yeah, pulls a gun and then shoots the judge in the head. <gasps> yeah. Oh, God, Nick, he's just an old Didn't boy. see that coming, did you, people? <laughs> I just wanted to scare him. Oh, God, oh, God, a judge. You killed a judge. What's the matter, Frankie? Nobody will care. Oh, Lord. Oh, and then we see Matt walking past Fogwell's gym. That This looks so familiar. The smell. The smell. The feeling. I've been here before. Was I a fighter? <laughs> Was I a contender? <laughs> I know I spent time here. It feels like home. No, oh, Lord. Then he sees Nick and the other guy running past. Can't believe you're so upset. What's their rush? <laughs> Why do I feel like chasing them? Well, I gotta go pick up the judge. So he yeah, knocks, rings the doorbell, all that. No one's answering. <laughs> so he walks in. Yeah. Oh, my God. You see the stain on the wall? Ooh. Still alive, but oh god, his head. And but yeah, Matt hears his heart finally stop and his breathing. That's when Marcus walks in. Marcus, I'm tried. I... That is not good timing. No, I know. I'm tried. I'm sorry. Shut up. Just shut up. They're dead. A couple of dead men. Well, at least. And away he goes. I mean, at least Marcus knows who did it. It's not like he's blaming Jack or something. Exactly. Oh my god, if this is minor comics, this would be like a, a three issue sub side plot. Exactly. And then elsewhere, we see Daredevil pulling off another heist. Man, somebody got a big-ass garden on a roof. Well, that, that is a thing in New York. Rooftop oh. gardens and whatnot. Probably cost a fortune to keep it so perfect. Probably the salaries of ten normal men. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the security guards show up, and they're like, Daredevil, someone's robbing the building. <laughs> they're like, thank God. And it's like, dude, you're thanking God for a Daredevil? The dude, <laughs> get it? The dude's carrying a, a sack. He hit him right in the face with that set, too. I know, man. <laughs> Waiting for it. I'll hold. He did what? He hit him right in the face with that sack. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to be hours just cutting up this episode. Yeah, but he, he does hit him in the face with that sack. I am the thief, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Whop. So, yeah, he knocks the one down. He's hitting the other one. The one gets up, points a gun at him. Don't move. Drop the bag and turn slowly around. Right. And then their quote unquote daredevil picks up a pair of one of their broken pair of sunglasses, throws it at the cop and disarms it. With him. perfect aim. Some might say no, I won't say it. He hits the <laughs> But yes, disarms him with a pair of sunglasses. 
Perfect it, aim. Just, again, this is this, this is at least the third time he's knocked a gun out of someone's hand. Here's the anvil. Yeah. Watch out! Watch out, New York! Daredevil's coming to get you. And they show him swinging away with his sack. <laughs> right into your face. Seriously. <laughs> Daredevil turns to cry. Oh, look, it's Ben Urich. He's like, nah, never. Uh, we didn't miss you, sir. You, you stay in your spider book. <laughs> bragging, to no, bragging to nobody. Ben Urich, famous reporter. Because he's Ben Urich, hello. Could have gotten famous years ago if I'd written a story revealing Daredevil's identity. Perhaps it's time to investigate another imprintable story. If Daredevil's back in town, so is Matt Murdock. Ooh! Oh, Lord. But then Daredevil goes to an abandoned warehouse. Oh, Lord. All, all you see is just like his pile of cash and there's that chick on a mattress. It's not even a mattress. It's one of those like old high school uh, wrestling mats folded up. I know. She's like, it's lonely here. I feel like I'm still being kept by an old fat husband. Shut up and put on some jewels. <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Should I give her a pearl necklace? I don't know. What's I was going to say, I was going to say the family jewels. Huh? <laughs> Daredevil takes care of his women. Apparently. But now I'm still a kept woman, but now I'm being kept by a thief. And again, this Daredevil's, again, just like everyone's been saying, you know, what's more honest, white collar crime or what I do? Love that it's called white collar crime, by the way. <laughs> Where do you think that came from? Now put on those jewels. I stole them for you. Oh, Lord. And then Marcus confronts the guys, the gang, including Nick, who killed his father in a pizzeria. Is that a pizzeria? Of course it is. They're Italian. <laughs> I was going to say. Another anvil. Rude! Another anvil. Rude! <laughs> Where's the League of Italian Americans when you need them? Get it? The black guy that crossed the street when the cops were coming and they... And they this and is they, a very um do the right thing moment, exactly. if you will. <laughs> and the guys are in the pizzeria. So Marcus starts attacking them. He's doing a good job until they like, pin him down. Oh, kicks one right in the... Should have brought some of your homies. I mean, they just overpower him, yeah, because there's, like, at least five of them. Uh, yeah, they pin him down on the counter. Get ready, Marcus. Things are going to get real ugly. And that's when Matt walks in. Hey, Marcus, need some help? Who's this idiot? <laughs> oh, you'll find out. I mean, Matt just takes them all down in, what, four panels? <laughs> Pretty much. I love how he sends Nick flying over the counter. But, like, no no shade. But can we talk about the um, the drawing of the black guy in the 90s? I'm pretty sure they were all the same guy. You had, um, they all had Vince same. from Recess. You had Kwame from um, uh, the planet, uh, Captain uh, Planet. Um, the guy from freaking um, the Magic School Bus. They all looked alike. And this guy kind of looks like them. That's all I'm going to say. They either had two hairstyles. They had this hairstyle. Or if they're and the fro. Or if they're, no, or I was going to say if they're old like the judge, they're like losing their hair. Yeah. <laughs> Just, and that's my head because it's all the same guy just traveling the multiverse minding his business I mean look at Matt Murdock every white guy in the, in the 90s had this mullet I mean come on yeah poor poor things everybody looked like Joe Dirt uh, I'm glad I'm not old enough to really remember it so yeah Marcus is like threatening Frankie and he's like walking him out of the pizzeria think of your father I am thinking of my father well, who else can I think of Get your white face out of my face. Ooh, snap. You know nothing about black justice. Go fight your, your father own. did. He was a judge. He believed in it, exactly. supposedly. Go on. Get out of my face. <laughs> Although, way. hopefully he wasn't a Clarence Thomas who just didn't say anything, you know. Mm, true. Hopefully he was a third good marshal. <laughs> so Marcus tells him to get out of his life. So Matt goes to Fogwells. <laughs> and he wants to fight. And the guy's like, oh, yeah. Well, get it, Fogwells. <laughs> But yeah, the guy's like, I got too many fighters. Unless you got something special, I don't need you. How about I fight blindfolded? Okay, get in there, blind boxer. I know, all the guys are laughing at him, so yeah. He takes off his shirt, puts on that blindfold, and gloves. All Gotta right. put your eye holes in first, bro. <laughs> but he gives him the old, he gives him the old Batman Guy Gardner, man, knocks the guy out one <laughs> shot. <laughs> one punch, knockout, you're hired, kid. <laughs> gives him the old, boah ha ha. Gives me old what for? Uh, right in the face. Eh. Not, in the, Not face. in the face. Uh, that taste is still in my mouth. The taste of defeat. Yes. 
I think the pants come off next. (laughs) All right, so. Well. 287. And in this corner! Daredevil, say. (laughs) Nice, simple cover. Just match. Look at those abs! Oh my, Lilith. Calm down. Oh. Dan's like, no, no, shade it a little more. Just, just, just a little more. <laughs> See, kids, Lilith is colorblind. All she cares about is the apps. Yeah, yeah. So. And as long as you don't think Thor is the best superhero, we might get along. Or, and you don't. And Matrix isn't your favorite movie. We might get along just fine. <laughs> like my two. And you can't say that Hulk can beat Superman. That those are the three things that I just I can't tolerate. What kind of trash? Or, what kind of trash have you been dating? <laughs> you i got a whole long little list but those are the top three it's just like no that's not gonna work and if, and if all of your superhero uh knowledge comes from movies yeah Lil has from no the time mcu for you. specifically Lilith has no time for you <laughs> read a book a comic book yeah sorry <laughs> the fighter oh that's a good song by um who is that band they used to be all the rage in the early odds i can't think now not ringing a bell but yes, we see Daredevil break into this bank. All these people are there. The bank's about to be robbed, he says. The guards are going, oh, we got to be ready. So yeah, Darede- Daredevil starts grabbing a baby rattle, a lipstick, a man's hat, and uses them to disarm the three guards. Okay, your giant anvil. He disarmed three guards with simple everyday items mm. <laughs> so, oh my lord but this time he swings off with the money and then just dumps it on the people in the street here you go chump spread the well <laughs> see you later bunkies <laughs> seriously so this time i don't think anyone's complained about daredevil oh my lord but he goes home that chick's sleeping which i don't think we ever he- learn her name she's just i don't you think know, she says it daredevil side piece bro i was like i was gonna say does he even know her name he didn't bother to ask. He just said, put the jewels on and take everything else off. Because, <laughs> oh, look, she's dreaming. Wake up, baby. Daddy brought you a present. Oh, <laughs> Men who use the word daddy, also on the list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm New York's new Robin Hood. I take from the rich and give to the poor. Ha 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 ha. But then he, like, what, holds her down. Time to wake up, dear. Um, Daredevil. That you- turned dark quick. I know, you're hurting me. Hey, at least take off that mask. No way. <laughs> Okay, Batman. <laughs> the mouse stays on. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, this isn't. Funny. At least Selena's down for it, you know. Down. <laughs> Come on, this isn't funny. You're sick. No, I'm a hero. I'm Daredevil. I'm a big hero. Oh, he had to throw in that big. <laughs> throw in big. <laughs> that means it's not. If you um, exactly. if you know, if you know, you know, ladies. <laughs> uh, and then at the bugle. Oh, Jonah. Daredevil, hey. Daredevil turns thief. Because <laughs> Ben's like, what? Because I hate superheroes, see? <laughs> yep, he even says, Because I hate superheroes. Daredevil's protected these streets for years. It's a lie, Jameson. Don't you know the difference anymore? Oh. Damn. Well, well, you're going to get fired, Ben. You keep that up. <laughs> I love, because I hate superheroes, but you're the first to use them to sell newspapers. Burn! Oh. <laughs> Hypocrite! Burn. Hypocrite! Look, let me do an editorial piece on Daredevil to counter the damage. With what evidence? What facts? What proof? You'll have to trust me on this, Jonah. I can smell out a lie like a bloodhound in the blood. And this headline is a lie. <laughs> that's, that's not how that works, but okay. <laughs> uh, so then, oh, but um, hmm. um, I love the boxing scenes. And I'm just like, I'm so excited for like a t- Tyson return to boxing. Like, honestly, the best news out of 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I was like, too bad Jake Paul is on the undercard. That's just too bad, but whatever. Because, yeah, we see uh, the, the gym is crowded because everyone's heard about this blind boxer. You gotta have a gimmick, see? Oh, yeah, all, I guess all the black guys that had the same haircut, I see. Okay. <laughs> yes! They all did. So, yeah, we see... Oh, looks Learn like- to draw a fade, damn it! <laughs> Where's Aaron Magruder when you need him? <laughs> but, yeah, we see someone sitting in the back of the gym analyzing Matt. Smoking a Matt. cigar. Analyzing Matt, street style, street style with a refined anger, a nimbleness, a style, karate arm, a judo stance, an aikido skill. It's him. It's him. 
Because, yeah, after Matt wins his match, we see... Uh, the winner! One man, a man others call Kingpin, remains unruffled. It's, it's him. him, Matt Murdock. Daredevil. I mean, remember the days when Wilson Fisk knew who King Matt was? Yeah. Because he's smart. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... I mean, Marvel doesn't lean into their villains enough. Like, I, like King... Like, actual, like, relatable villains. I get the whole... You know what I mean? I know. I get the whole world can't remember these identities, but at least let the Kingpin remember. And it's like, even Elektra doesn't remember Matt's Daredevil at this point. That's garbage. I know. <laughs> Uh, choices, editorial choices, though. I know. It made sense when they made them, supposedly. It's Matt Murdock out of his costume and using his dead father's name, thinking of his father's sport. He's back, but what is he attempting to accomplish? That's He's it. like, I'm on to you. I love it. I love it. Before he said, after he says, that's it, Daredevil, look my way. He's blinded. But yeah, oh yeah. Just shut up and kiss. Matt's head is definitely pointed in his direction. Matt, what's wrong? You seem distracted. I don't know. I could have sworn I just had a deja vu. I just sensed a strong memory of my past. Oh, well, yeah. It must be the stench of the kingpin. <laughs> Those cigars. No, seriously. Mm-hmm. Those cigars. Uh, oh, well. But my amnesia is so complete, I have to forget my past and concentrate on the wonderful present. As he kisses Nyla. Let's go home. I want to sleep. She's like, what? Sleep? You're either fighting or sleeping. Come on. You know when I sleep, I dream. My dreams are telling me things. They want me to figure out who I am. Did he just say my amnesia is so complete I have to forget the past? But I was like, I want to go home and sleep so I can remember who I am. Classic Norman Osborn shenanigans. Seriously. Oh, my Lord. But back at the bugle. We see- hey, fun fact, though, in case you didn't know, if you're a girl and you like Daredevil, there is a show on the CW and it has the first two seasons on Netflix. It's called Into the Dark and it's a blind girl who solves crime. So oh. if you're interested, you should watch it. Season three will come out like I think, well now next year, next fall or the summer. So, but yeah, that's a good binge. More Lots know. of sex, by the way. So for the CW, that's pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> throw that out there. Whoa, <laughs> compatible. It's compatible. Uh, so oh, at the bugle we see Daredevil side piece. <laughs> <laughs> Why so surprised? Isn't it just like a guy who parades around calling himself the hero? The Daredevil's one sick puppy. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Burn. It doesn't take a woman long to know all she needs to know about a man. This whole trip he's on, it's like he has, uh, he's on a uh, quest for sainthood. He calls himself a modern day Robin Hood, a, mo- a moral thief, stealing to redistribute wealth, but he's smiling, sick, and well. He's not much of a man. Burn. Oh my. Burn. <laughs> Reporter. Oh, oh, I see. And he calls Jonah in. Oh, Jonah, I got a headline for you. <laughs> oh, my Lord. But then we see Matt dreaming of training. Why can't I kick this wall down? Someone else is here kicking. Hello, Electra. Boo! I thought you liked Electra. I do, but not, not this particular way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Still hitting things? And they both get hit by stick. <laughs> the person stick. Thanks for the clarification. (laughs) Rage only takes you so far. You two are the same kind of angry idiots. (laughs) The only way to get your attention is to hit you. Now look, the wall is still there. Try again without rage, without anger. Hit the wall with kindness. What kind of hippy-dippy garbage is this? It's impossible. How can we hit kindly? It's a paradox. Of course it's a paradox, stupid. That's why it's the truth. What? Okay, they were smoking the good stuff when they wrote this. It's you fine. must be a fighter, a benevolent fighter, a humane fighter. Don't fight from rage, fight from compassion. I'll break down that wall. Electra just kicked Tear down that wall! Boy, that's an old reference, Grandma. <laughs> I know. And they just kick each other the wall, not each other. You two are hopeless. No, Daddy, I won't be a fighter. Oh, yeah. He, he's Yikes. mumbling that as he wakes up. A dream. I was learning how to fight, but my father made me promise not to. And that woman, God, she's so... <laughs> Nyla's gone. I think she's jealous of my dreams. Yeah, maybe could... Maybe, maybe it's the maybe it's <laughs> uh, texture of your dreams, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, then he's thinking about Marcus, who, at this moment, has Nick tied up, I guess. Is it in his apartment? Elsewhere in Manhattan's Hell Kitchen! Yeah. <laughs> Talking about, you know, they want us to hate each other. You know, who? I don't know. The rich, the powerful. Look at Daredevil. He used to fight street crime. Now he leaves the street alone, robs the rich. 
This is the street. And Matt's just standing outside listening to this. Oh, uh, Marcus is saying to Nick, tell me where the killer is at, at not knowing he has the killer. Uh, but then meanwhile, across town, Ben Yurik's trying to track down Foggy. We haven't seen any pages for a while. <laughs> uh, ben, it's been a while. Yeah, I figured you might be the one who's still in touch with Matt Murdock. No, we haven't been friends in a while. Funny you should ask about Matt. I'm working on his case right now. A while back, Matt's life was ruined. Unpaid bills, back taxes, accounts seized. Hmm, I wonder who did that. Yeah, that's how you get them, see? Cigar smoking. My mouth you get them with the taxes, unless you're Trump. But anyway. Uh, anyway, he lost his license to practice law. I haven't figured out who did it, but the whole thing was a setup. I've since rectified with the IRS, the government, banks, the law board. All I need is Matt Murdock. Know where he is? I might. Looks like you've been working hard on making Matt's name look good again. A bit of an obsession. I got my reasons. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then... Was it Nick? I, th- I thought I thought Marcus had Nick. <laughs> uh, but we see him. In a, what? Yeah, an abandoned building. All freaked out. Frankie, what, answer me! That's when Matt comes in and <laughs> throws him around and just, like chokes him out. <laughs> Yikes. This gets, this gets bleak. <laughs> Just a scummy punk named Nick. He'll miss nobody. I do this with compassion, Nick nobody. I fight with kindness. I am the blind boxer. Oh, Lord. So, so he hangs him off of a light pole with a sign that says Judge Killer. Oh, my Lord. He even labels the gun burger weapon. And hangs him outside the police station. Guess he killed that judge. I was waiting for the cops to say, oh, another Spider-Man pickup. <laughs> right? They're like, oh, nope, no, no wedding. <laughs> Who caught him and left him here? Who knows? But it wasn't the cops. Uh, and then we see Matt getting ready for another big fight. Uh, and Matt, you know, Milo's talking about Daredevil robbing people. And uh, Matt's like, that's bull. Daredevil's, this Daredevil cat is a show off. He's full of bunk. How would you know that? I don't know. I forget. When you when you win, look for me. I'll be in the crowd ra- waving a red scarf. Silly, you know I have these bad eyes. I can't tell if something is light or dark, let alone see color. Get it? Kiss, kissy, kissy. Yeah, he kisses her and gets in the ring, and she's like, "Wait, colorblind? He doesn't know what color I am." Oh, sure, sure he does. He, he sees your haircut. <laughs> uh, oh my lord! But then they see people all over the city reading Ben's uh, article, and people are cheering Daredevil. He's swinging over. What me? Stupid people! Don't you get it? I'll show you I'm no hero. <laughs> And then the cover of 288 kind of blows the whole mystery of who is Daredevil. They're like, okay, we've, we've teased it long enough. We're tired of playing around. We're like, who doesn't know by now? But yes, 288 well, that says whatever happened to Matt Murdock with Bullseye on the cover. <laughs> and King King. Yeah, so this one opens up with Matt dreaming again. I'm an Electra falling off a cliff. And Electra, father getting killed. Matt, we must save him. Do something. You stood there and watched him die, you monster. I can't watch. I'm blind. And then it looks like the kingpin. You know, kind of I hate to be that person, but do you ever think that Electra's just Marvel's huntress? Oh, hmm. Good point. <laughs> Maybe that's why I love her. I don't know. It's like, I have my reasons why I like certain characters. Or I have to relive this moment. Yeah, see thinks about his father's death and then stick comes in to beat them again forget your past forget the past your daddies are dead your mommies are long gone forget forget them Ooh, he's giving them harsh life lessons okay mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. yeah we, yeah so we see matt's like yeah laying there dreaming uh then we get to the back to the kingpin uh looking out his window smoking a cigar as he does looking at a map <laughs> and then someone throws a pen into it bullseye Get it? After all that business with the Red Skull, I thought I told you to lie low until I contacted you. Sea Streets of Poison. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do an editor's note there. Oh. Nobody wants to remember Streets of Poison except for you, Philip. <laughs> Ray, right in. <laughs> Don't at me, Ray Ray. Well, Kingpin, I was wondering if you noticed something strange happening in the city. Something with my signature on it. Kingpin's like, you, you idiot. You idiot. <laughs> Just classic. Yeah. You wanted, Simpy, you idiot. <laughs> wanted to ruin Daredevil, but that's the kind of thing people love. 
bullseye. They were supposed to hate him, kill him, lynch him. I'll fix it. He just dives right out the window. <laughs> And the king, I know, and the kingpin's thinking, so Bullseye's been masquerading as Daredevil, but with a fake Daredevil committing crimes against his beloved Manhattan, why isn't the real Daredevil stopped him? And why is Ma- he's boxing! <laughs> yeah, he's like, why is he boxing under his father's name? Uh, and he's thinking about how Jack Murdoch was killed when he refused to throw a fight. What if I were to set up the son in the same way and force him to take a fall? It might just send an Uh-oh. already unbalanced mind. <laughs> is that how we're going to cure this amnesia, people? <laughs> I know, so kingpin's like, oh, maybe we'll push him away. Like, yeah, the wrong way. <laughs> oh my lord, then we see. What is this? Da- Bullseye in the daredevil suit, just like picking on homeless people, women in the street. Oh my lord, this woman. I'd hate to miss Twin Peaks. There's a reference. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> a mystery show, though, so yeah. So yeah, Bullseye's just terrorizing people. And Matt's still dreaming. Mm. He's basically just telling them, Electro, your father wanted to insulate you like a princess from anything dirty or messy. Matt Murdock, your father wanted you to study, 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 and keep your hands clean and in a straitjacket. There is no, no legacy you must fulfill beyond your own. What makes a hero? Courage, sacrifice, no narcissism. Jeez. You feel so narcissistic. You want to be immortal. That's why you prance around like heroes. Your motives stink. You two are as rotten and ruthless as any villain you've ever fought. So Matt wakes up. How long have you how long have I been out? Fourteen hours. Damn, that's a hell of a nap. Who's he, Lil Hellfire? <laughs> You're on a train for tonight's flight. Are you sick? No. I've been dreaming about two dead friends. A woman? Yes, one of them is a woman. A woman I love, or I mean I once loved. We're learning some kind of lesson from our teacher before he died. Something about reliving my beginnings so I can get on to the next thing. So is this programmed amnesia? <laughs> Jack, it's the dream. It is and it isn't. And he wants to go back to sleep again after 14 hours. She's like, I'm jealous of your dream. Why am I jealous of a woman in a dream? Don't be silly. She's dead, I think. <laughs> Good lord, then Kingpin's threatening the uh, dude who owns the gym. I'll never fix a fight, he's saying. I'd rather be dead and Kingpin gets him around the neck. I'm glad we understand each other. Fix the fight or die. Then mm. the guy changes his mind, of course. Uh, then we see Bullseye just... Terrorizing more people. Uh, this ain't right. You ain't Daredevil. I am Daredevil. Spread the word. Somebody's compensating. <laughs> just overcompensating. I'm just beating on people. You see someone with a can. Oh, look. He's Prince of the Selfies. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Daredevil's just beating on guys. Like, Go on. Take a picture. Take all you want. Sell this to the Daily Bugle. <laughs> at least he knows. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lord. And Matt's still dreaming. It's a long, it's a long freaking dream. I know. Again, again, fourteen hours. But again, it's like, how can I fight humanely? It's impossible. Go to the Daily Bugle. That'll ruin your name. See. And Electra helps him up. Thanks, honey. Hey. And she's like, I quit. I want nothing to do with humanity, with people, with humane fighting, with love. Exactly. I feel you. I was gonna say, where have I heard this before? Caring for another human being that isn't myself. <laughs> And you, Murdoch, is the training over for you, too. Uh, so we see, just see Ben sitting in his office, trying to piece it all together. Uh, then, yeah, Matt's still dreaming. Uh, hit me with compassion. Hit me with love. I guess Daredevil figures it out. You're a stubborn man with a thick skull, Murdoch. Oh, uh, yeah. But you finally understand. Yes, I understand. Oh, my lord. And we just see Bullseye, or, yeah, Bullseye just beating on some guy in the street. Mm, call me your protector, then you give up your right to protect yourself. You want a vigilante to protect your streets. I got the suit, I'm Daredevil. Mm. Oh, and then, of course, Kingpin sitting around the... When he sits around the office, he sits around the office. <laughs> of course, one of his lackeys comes in. What have you found out? There's a girl. Thanos uh, definitely had to snap twice for the Kingpin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Little flubs his little drops. Your mama's so big, Thanos had to snap twice. <laughs> There's a girl. There's always a girl. Because <laughs> he has mother issues, of course. Bring her to me alive. Yes, Mr. Fisk. Send a message to the bullseye. There's always a girl. At least he knows. Yes. And send a message to the bullseye. I have a job for him. Mm. Then Matt finally wakes up, telling Nyla, Ah, I'm reborn. Cripes. Get it? Don't tell me you found God or something. No, not exactly. Heroes reborn. Get Well, no, wait. Too oh, soon. how dare Too you? Soon. 
No, not exactly. Uh, she's like, something's been bugging me all day. You're half blind. You can't see color and stuff. So, well, what color do you think I am? I don't know. Orange, pink, polka dotted. I don't know, and I don't care. But they had her as well. <laughs> No, when I talked to Anna Cynthia, I was like, yeah, Nyla just, like, basically disappeared. He's like, she's like, yeah, I don't know if they didn't, you know, they didn't want Matt Murdock to have a black girlfriend. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was still too soon. It was 1991, yes. Honestly, still too soon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with Dick Grayson. <laughs> well, th- come on. that That's not, you know. Come on. Uh, you better come see me fight tonight, Lila. Nyla, because I'm going to win this one for you. Oh, my lord, let me see. Ida. Nyla, that's a pretty name. Yes. A very pretty name. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> oh, he's got the Joker laugh, did that? Because he's like, he's getting his orders from a payphone. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> 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 And then 289, let's get ready to rumble. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, because we see Nyla at the outside. The- 50 years of Captain America, and I still don't care. <laughs> Jeez. Burns. But if yeah. you see the cover, that makes sense. <laughs> Nyla gets attacked outside the gym by Bullseye. Where, tell me where's, Damn your, bullseye. where's your magic man? Where are those dancing feet and power punches now? And then inside the locker room, we see Matt yelling at the owner. Forget it, coach. Don't tell me. How dare you tell me to throw a fight? Jack Murdoch would rather die than throw a fight. Okay. <laughs> they threatened me, Jack. I got scared. I know it's wrong. But man, the freaky thing is 15 years ago, there was this great fighter with the same name as you battling Jack Murdoch. He refused to throw a fight and they shot him. They shot him! And Matt's like, Matt's like, battling Jack. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to win the fight for that old dead boxer with the same name as me. So he, like, he like, leaps into the boxing ring. And then the security guard who's talking to Nyla is like, man, I got, got a note from your girl. Says, good luck. I'm out there watching. And it says, I love you. <laughs> That's way too soon. That's, I know. So, the, yeah, the bell rings and Matt, uh, Matt goes to it. <laughs> fight starts. And then what is that after, like, the first round? Jack, listen up. Got a note from your girl. I know, coach. She loves me. No, Jack. I told you these guys were tough. It's another note. They took her. They took Nyla. What do you mean, took her? Kidnapped her, Jack. Get her through the fight, see? If you don't, they kill her. So then he starts taking the punches. And Ben's sitting in the audience thinking, what's he up to? He's replaying his dad's life, and then he's going to take the fall that his dad didn't take? And Matt gets knocked out of the ring. Matt, what are you doing? Who's Matt? You are, buddy. Jack was your dad. I don't get it. And Daredevil? What happened to Daredevil? Who? And he's, oh my lord, now he's hallucinating. Who's that calling to me? Matt, my son is watching me. Oh my lord, now he really does have daddy issues. So Matt's trying to win again, and the Kingpin's men are just like, uh oh, what's he doing? Oh no, let's get up there. So Matt wins the fight, and I guess that brings all his memories back. Uh, that's my dad. That was easy. I know. Hit the staples button. That was easy. <laughs> all, it, all it took was a couple blows to the head. Reverse amnesia works every time. Yep. If only he'd lost the fight, he'd be dead, he'd be alive today. But his son, me, would have seen him throw a fight. There'd be no daredevil. Jack Murdoch, the blind boxer. I love you, Dad. Uh, don't worry, Coach. I know who I am now. They can't hurt me. This was my last fight. As he yeah, goes, it is gonna be your freaking. <laughs> you may never see me in the ring again, but that doesn't mean I've stopped fighting. As he leaps out of the ring and kicks one of the kingpin's men in the face, kicks the other one, then takes off. Oh my lord. Kingpin sent three men with baseball bats. Can't afford guns. Come on. <laughs> Give up, Murdoch. You're tired. And there's three of us. Which he takes down in three panels. Talk about the family jewels. <laughs> you didn't see me. Ooh. One gets away. Better call the boss. As Matt jumps on his car. Murdoch won the fight and then got away from us. And the other guys. That idiot don't know who's on his roof. <laughs> so they drive to the uh, waterfront and knock him in the water. As a bunch of them jump in to fight him. And then the goons, the goons float to the surface. What happened? Matt, <laughs> he's in the car, blast it. So they shoot, <laughs> so they shoot the car in, uh, in all 80s fashion, blow it up. Exactly. It's like, it's gonna blow. Yeah, it's gonna blow. That's it. He's dead. Let's call the kingpin. He did want him dead, didn't he? <laughs> it's not that easy, stupid. I know, but they're like, he did want him dead, didn't he? Well, it don't matter, because yeah, then we see Matt jumping through the kingpin's window. 
Kingpin, you were behind it all of you. You've messed with my mind and life for the last time. Kingpin didn't mess with your mind this time. You pulled every string, wasn't it? Well, no more. Nate grabs Nyla and takes off. You want more, Kingpin? You got it. Watch your back, fat man. Tonight marks the end of your whole sleazy empire. <laughs> that look on Kingpin's face. And Nyla's like, you were great, so tough. Don't, I'm proud of you. Don't be. Shut up. You don't like, you don't know him like I do. He had that smile, the smile I know so well. He was saying, the, I wrote the whole script. I led to it. This, even the words. If I want, he let me. It's just the beginning of his plan. Things are about to get very ugly. I'm going to, he says, I'm going to disappear for a while. No, Nyla, you're going to disappear for a while. Because <laughs> seriously, this is the last time we see Nyla until, was it this year's uh, Battle for the Serpent Crown? <laughs> see you in 30 years, Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll never see her again. <laughs> see you later, Bunky. Uh, but he's like, yeah, read about me in the Daily Bugle. Again, literally saying, oh yeah, hey, I'm Daredevil. <laughs> Whatever it is, is that's been messing with the good name of Daredevil. He's next. God, Matt, come on. Everyone else knows. You should know who it is. You're blind, but you're not that blind. Oh, burn. <laughs> All right, so gets us to the last issue, 290. He's back, Daredevil, man without fear, and Bullseye's not happy about it. Very misleading cover. You know, it's it's it's, it's the last of the arc. You got you to gotta really bring him in, make yes. sure it sells. I get it. Oh, that's right. This issue opens. Um, it'll lead us in the DG Chichester's run in our run up to three issue three hundred. Yes, Wilson Fisk trying to uh, buy some legitimate stuff uh, like uh, a legitimate businessman. Okay, <laughs> TV news state. You know, TV news stations. I'm trying to remember if it's in this run or not, but I think it's Daredevil who says, "Yeah, oh, oh what." <laughs> That line about you just being an importer of spices. Importer, uh, exporter. <laughs> exactly. That line about you being an importer, exporter, a little thing for a guy who owns a skyscraper. Although the importing business is good, not really exporting, but importing is, is a good business if you can get into it. It's a lot of red tape, though. What does he import? What does he import? export? <laughs> hey, George. And you want to be my latex salesman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, enough Seinfeld. How do we not have a Seinfeld show? Uh, you know, honestly, if we ever had time, that's the one show I would love to do. I mean, there's like what? 10 I'm seasons? sure Mozzie would be down for it. <laughs> what is it like? Ten seasons? I mean, and it's a thirty minute show too. On top of that, so. And this is such a professional business meeting as Kingpin kills one of the guys at the table. As you do. <laughs> I love how I was like, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> This is, this is how Lil runs businesses. Damn straight. Oh my lord! But then burn, he, baby, burn. Oh my. <laughs> Bullseye is so petty. Burn. Because Matt finds his uh his warehouse hideout. Oh my lord! But yeah, because he has all these pictures on the wall. Let me see what my radar sees. A mess. Women and money. Money and women's clothing. Money and women. The two things he has no interest in. Oh. <gasps> He just said Bullseye has no interest in women. Well, then. He loves me, see? Exactly. And I love the Kingpin, see? <laughs> what a thruple. The Kingpin can be a thruple all by himself. <laughs> Talk about your ample Americans. Oh. oh, but Matt finds, yeah, under a floorboard. Bullseye's costume. Okay, pal, fair trade. You played me, play Bull, Daredevil. Now let's see if I can play you. Look at that face he puts it on. I know. All oh, the faces he makes in the whole issue. Yeah. And again, more people on the street. And we see, oh, another old man getting beat up. And Daredevil just, well, Bullseye is Daredevil just standing there watching until some teenagers step in. Because all the people on the street help. And they're like, you just watch. You don't deserve that costume. Just throwing apples. And oh, look, another green apple, though. Exactly. I love they throw an apple at him. He takes a bite and, like, hits a guy in the head <gasps> with it. Well, here's the thing. Um, if you are a fan of um, Cinema Sins, you know what eating an apple means. It means you're an a-hole. <laughs> so. Well, works. Makes sense. Works. Yes. Yeah, so Bullseye takes off. Destroying the image of Daredevil is even sweeter than destroying the man himself. Because I hate you, Hornhead. I hate you, hate you, hate you. Feels great to be in your skin, old Hornhead. Yep, I'm Daredevil now. I wonder, it's been easy to play the bad guy. Maybe too easy. Kind of fun to play the hero. Oh, Lord, because he sees a woman getting mugged. He swings in. Hello, citizens. He kicks the guy. 
<laughs> and the woman's like, oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I don't believe everything I read in the papers. Uh, you'll take care of him, Daredevil. Whatever you say, citizen, as he whips a pen and stabs the guy in the throat. Uh... <laughs> my duty citizen i've got another pen here and then oh look he comes to save the day it's bullseye <laughs> matt wearing that costume hey old hornhead bullseye's back and you know what he still hates you <laughs> i love bullseye you're not bullseye i know who you are well, duh <laughs> uh they hate you who do they hate the guy in the red suit is that who they hate have a little identity problem old hornhead <laughs> I've been thinking about you for years, Daredevil. Sent me to prison. You smashed me. Put me in a body cast. You smashed me? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do the drop? <laughs> Too bad. You got enough drops for this episode. <laughs> Bullseye's been thinking about you all those long years, all trapped in the dark, alone, with only you to think about. <laughs> Jeez. Now I've done it. I've turned the whole beloved, your whole beloved city against you. Damn, yeah, Matt's hanging over the side of it, building. Daredevil, help me. I don't want to die. He's just... Look at him toying with him. You can't let me die. You're right. No one has to die. Thank you, Daredevil. You're such a good man. And Bulls is like, wait a minute. I'm not. <laughs> Pat grabs him by the leg. Yuck, yuck. You dork. You fell for the biggest tr biggest fool's trick of all. So long, sucker. So he whips Bullseye over the side. Save a place for me down under? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he what will. What the F? I don't know what's going on, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. I don't know what's going on. Then we back to Foggy. Uh, he's thinking about how Matt left after he took that job with the Kingpin. And, uh, Gloriana left me too. <laughs> the girlfriend I stole from you left me. Huh? Oh, feel bad for me. <laughs> uh, but then he's like, uh, yeah, I fixed everything. I got your license back. All I need is you. Oh my lord. I got your license back for you, Matt. All, now all I need is you. Just shut up and kiss. Man, everyone loves I that. still ship them. I still ship them. That's my OTP when it comes to Daredevil. Should this, book, time. should this book be called Everyone Loves Matt? Yeah. Everything feels broken. You did it again. Let me fall to my desk. Mm, it's fun to play Bullseye. It's easy to be murderous and psycho. It's a blast. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, they're just fighting on the rooftops. Mm. Basically matched. Them. What is the deal with Bullseye Bullseye's costume? Like I just I've never understood it. I don't know. Well, that's why the movie they tried to make it look more menacing. Well, that was that was terrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like let's never ever do that again. <laughs> well, how do you like uh, visually represent? I, I mean, when you're like a good assassin, like it, you don't it, it should be stealthy. You don't need all that. But you know, Bullseye is kind of an egomaniac, so I don't know. Yeah, but it was back in the day too. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to be a hero, but the killer, his part is easy. Now I'm going to kill you. No, you can't kill me. You're afraid of me, bullseye. Yeah, I love bullseye saying. Every time you had a chance, you couldn't do it. You're a coward, bullseye. Remember, you had a gun pointed at me once, and you couldn't pull the trigger. He's like, wait a minute. I'm bullseye. I'm the coward that couldn't kill the daredevil. Ha! <laughs> that guy, he's the bleeding heart chump who can't kill anyone. Or he's the coward. Either way, I win. <laughs> I just love it that they're like the Fist Corporation. The legitimate... Slick business show that masks an extensive sleazy organized crime empire. I'll make the Fisk News Network the top in this city. Hmm. So can Jonah? Can Jonah do something like? Oh, wait, <laughs> Jonah wait. needs a CNN. Next couple episodes, just wait. Oh wait, so uh, now nah, I know. So a, a news channel that starts with F is misleading people. <laughs> oh, ahead of its time. Ahead of its time. Uh, yeah, then we see, just see Matt and Bullseye just destroying each other. You're right, Bullseye. Trust me to do the right thing? Huh. You don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. We turned out to be the same man, didn't we? Uh, it reminds me of that, um, that Justice League cartoon episode. Lex Luthor becomes freaking the Flash and he lifts the mask up. He's like, I don't know, I don't know who this guy is. I mean, I get the sentiment, but I mean, didn't we just spend how many issues saying, you know, Bullseye is just a thief, he can't please women, I mean, all this, and it, it's like, we're the same guy, really? I mean, honestly, Matt can't please a woman either. Oh! Just ask Karen. <laughs> no, he can please women, he just can't keep them alive. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's the biggest pleasure we have, is being alive, so, you know. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> All right, we're going long. You want to hear some Ray Ray feedback? Yes. All right. What's Ray Ray got for Lilith? 
Hey, <laughs> all right, everyone. For those of you who don't know, this is our Australian friend Ray. Our triplet. <laughs> from a host of uh, Last of the Crypt on a Superman podcast. To know her is to fear her. A Spider Woman hey. podcast. <laughs> yes, go check out the latest episode. They talked to the new creative team. There's some feedback by a certain uh, Capes and Lunatics host. Uh, Hopefully, you didn't waffle on your opinion. Waffle, waffle, waffle. <laughs> Waffles, waffles, waffles. Anyway, and he talks Scarlet Spider here last Tuesday of every month, and his baby into the night. <gasps> the Moon Knight podcast. And uh, oh yeah, what was it yesterday? It was his uh, his woman's birthday? So happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, Mrs. Ray Ray. That's right. Uh, Hopefully, it's... Finn got you something nice because you know we can't depend on Ray Ray to do that. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> You get to sleep. With Gives her a bottle of wine, but uh, we're gonna split that, right? <laughs> she gets to sleep with that old man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Here's what Ray had to think about these daredevil issues. All right, all right. Take it away. Uh, take it away. Hello, Phil and Lilith. This is Ray. Uh, I thought I would drop in my little thoughts little? on this um, daredevil arc two eighty four to two ninety. Uh, this is great. Um, I'm, I'm just going to kick off. I'm going to lay all the cards on the table right now and say um, you've, you've hit um, a moment in Daredevil, which is one of my all-time faves. So we're talking Anne Nascenti, Lee Weeks. Um, I know there's a, a couple of other artists there like Greg Capullo and Kieran Dwyer that, um, that are more than able to, to jump in as guest artists. But um, this is really my wheelhouse for Daredevil, um, kind of got introduced to him around this era. Um, it has a particular vibe. I don't know whether that's nostalgia or not, um, but uh, I just love this stuff. So I'm just going to lay out that little preamble before I get to a, a rating. But uh, yeah, 284 to 290, a really, a, a really interesting. Um, and for, what, for me, what kind of cemented the idea, my young self, when I was a, a teenager, that, that Daredevil was... Uh, for older readers, a bit mature readers, um, it, it it's not as I guess um, flamboyant as say the X Men or, or even Amazing Spidey. Uh, there's a lot of I guess ground groundedness, uh, which is kind of like perforates throughout the whole um, throughout the whole arc. And this one's a great one because it has uh, Daredevil uh, who through. The, you know, recent events and stuff has really taken a toll on him, um, and he end up, ends up being a bit of a bit of an amnesiac. Uh, and uh, and I love this introduction uh, of, of Bullseye kind of taking up his costume. Um, um, I, I think he's done it probably a couple of times since, or he he may have done it in the past. But for me, this was the first time when I first read it that uh, uh, that Bullseye. Um, took on the costume for um, as Daredevil, and I wonder if this was the particular arc that may have influenced uh, season three of Netflix Daredevil. But anyway, um, Bullseye was great in it. Um, typically maniacal, uh, just really at first he's trying to diss the name of Daredevil, but he ends up being a a, a bigger hero than he thinks, uh, and that really pisses him off more. Uh, he has a he has a um what's it, a little a little something on the side there. She's kind of just laying about. Uh, left a, um, I guess, an older millionaire who wasn't treating her right, so she finds a bit of excitement uh, hanging around the likes of Bullseye, but soon finds out that he's he's pretty terrifying. Uh, so this was good. Uh, the Kingpin as well, kind of in there as an all-seeing person. Uh, I love the fact that towards the end of it, um, he recognises Matt in the ring, uh, and he says, oh, that's got to be you, just from the, the pure fighting style. Uh, and that was fun as well. Jack, um, battling Jack, uh, Murdoch, Matt's gone in the ring. Uh, in some ways, it's a little bit corny. It's a little bit funny how he's kind of um, um, mimicking or mirroring his dad's um, his his dad's career and what happened to him. But at the same time, I kind of like what Nascenti is actually doing here. Uh, he's kind of put in the same situation. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, like, he's an awesome boxer. I mean, they're all talking about him as being like Joe Lewis. Uh, but, yeah, um, uh, a very interesting take, like having him as a, uh, albeit a very brief time as, as a boxer. 
Uh, there are a little bit, a couple of corny bits in here. I mean, 284, I think, there's the babyface gangster. He's very much like a, a Dick Tracy-like uh, villain. Yeah, For me, a little bit over the top compared to the rest of of the arc. Um, but he found I found that a little bit weird. Um, also, what I did find, I mean, I guess it's... Anyway, what I did find strange was uh, not the relationship between Matt and Nyla, but the fact that it was revealed towards the end that he didn't realise, like, he doesn't see colour, and that kind of really got to Nyla, which was, which was really touching, but it's kind of like, well, you know, um, it's a bit weird that... Um, I don't know. It's a bit hard to explain, but like, yeah, not you hard to explain, your, but it's just like, care, not care what color uh, you are. It's not just about the color, right? Um, for, for Nyla, it is, and, and they obviously they were building up towards it because there's a whole thing with with Marcus, I guess, as well, who's a bit of a trouble uh, trouble person, whose uh, whose dad, the judge, gets off to in a very violent way. Um, so there's an underlying current there of uh, a, a bit of social comment, um, certainly at the time, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this thing that Matt uh, is in love with Nyla and yet uh, he doesn't know, you know, whether she's black or white. Uh, he even says, you know, you could be polka dot for all I care. Um, so the sentiment's there, but um, it, it's, I don't know, I find it a bit, a bit weird in the fact that uh, with his, his powers, maybe he's not attuned to it, um, he would be able to tell. Um, you know, just because he can't see doesn't necessarily mean um, mean that he can't tell. Anyway, um yeah, so for this, I would give this a, a good solid A plus all round. I mean, all these six, six seven issues, um, fantastically written, fantastically drawn. Um, you know, I, I'd read this over and over again. Incidentally, this hasn't been released yet in uh, on the Epic Collection, but I think actually it might be in the lead up to. It might just sneak in there because um, the the latest Epic Collection for for Daredevil will um, will cover around the issue three hundred. So if we're talking about fifteen or twenty issues, it may cover, you know, two two eighty four, say to to um to three hundred if we're lucky. But uh, certainly a run I I'd love revisiting, and I'd always revisit this. Um, again, it'd be interesting to get the two views. Phil, I know that you're a contemporary of mine, so you probably share a lot of the same How dare you. thoughts because I know you are a Daredevil fan as well. But uh, Lilith coming in. Um, I don't know, just from a different perspective, how did you find it? It would be, it would be quite interesting to hear. But A-plus for me. I mean, I know I've been throwing around good marks lately, but um, this certainly is deservedly so. So, yeah, um, this is an episode I cannot wait to listen to. Um, and, yeah, I'll, uh, I shall hear your thoughts. Cheers. Yes, I, I like Anna Cinti. Um, the, the, especially the tail end of this run, like uh, you could tell, they're like, "Oh, she's getting a little too political." Time to go. <laughs> like that's how it kind of feels because you know, not to knock the person that comes after, it's, it does have like kind of like a, a, a like one eighty <laughs> of what we were discussing. Yeah, but I mean, diff- just different ways. It's just like, different, different ways, taste, but it's like yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we get. I mean, we get one more issue of uh, Ando Senti next comic capers, yeah, and then it's in the uh, Chichester's run, yeah, which is great in its own way for different reasons. Oh yeah, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, like I like I said, I I kind of like started pointing out all the social, like, well, and it's still going on. Yeah, <laughs> she definitely knew what was up. Yeah, and Ray Lilith has a big problem with people throwing around too much positivity. Okay, come on. Yeah, no, no, I I agree with the A, like. Ooh. Well, duh, come on. It's, it's good. And it's like, even though it's like kind of a long arc, it's still like very tight yes. and well paced. So, I mean, like you can do an arc and don't want, like it didn't really wander. Like everything had a reason and a purpose. And, you know, in modern comic books, that's just not the case most of the time. So, yeah, you knew I was giving it an A, but yeah, Ray, we got an A out of Lil A Lil for Lil Ann. <laughs> Lil Felfire, always surprising you. I never disappoint. And that's the goal. And yes, thank you for that uh, big in-depth uh, feedback, Ray. Because I know yes, Lilith locks it long. <laughs> because I know Lilith locks it long. Oh, God. Longer than what you give Kona. <laughs> Bubble of the boob. Suck Kona. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Suck it, Kona. Anyway, so yes, uh, I know we went long, so should we get out of here? Yes, let's uh let's see our way out. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say we can bring up the schedule for next time. 
Yes, Philip. What what are we reading next time? This, this, I know this issue. I know this episode went long, but well, likes it long. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it was a long arc. I don't mind it. All right. So next time, uh, next week, back to Wade's world for uh, Dead- Wade's world. Deadpool vs. Gambit. <laughs> yes. You better do your homework and send in feedback. That's all I have to say. And then in two weeks, come back for more Daredevil. Daredevil 291 through 296. And then Daredevil Back in Black, followed by Daredevil 297 through 300, or as we like to call it, Fall of the Kingpin. Yes. I wonder but what, not really. I wonder what happened <laughs> then. Well, temporary Fall of the Kingpin. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so. Thank you for joining us. Send your thoughts on all the upcoming stuff or hell. Send your thoughts on this. You know, we can next time we can read your thoughts on this, on these issues. So uh, email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38capes. And remember to follow Comic Capers and all of our shows on Facebook, Twitter, follow our Facebook groups. Uh, instagrams uh our youtube channel go subscribe i uh, go follow our patreon hey go pick up merch all of it all in one convenient place that's linktree l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash capes and lunatics and remember to support our sponsors tweaked audio here as well as bat murdoch get yourself some tweaked audio headphones nice thank you uh and hunt it and be like matt murdoch and hunt a killer Michelle Gray needs our help, guys. Come on. That's right. And use the code SOUTHGATE for both of those for discounts. And for those of you who can read with your eyes, go pick up Pod Life the book, now in digital and paperback, volume one. But if you can't, we do have audio book oh, coming soon. That's right. For those of you who may be uh, sight impaired, yes, the audio book is coming soon. And volume two is coming soon. So get go get your volume one. And you can get that on Amazon when you do that. Get that and do your Christmas shopping. Use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there. Black Friday is upon us, guys. Get ready. Whoa. (laughs) I mean, it's going to be different this year, though, for sure. So I definitely am not even going to. I don't even think Walmart is open on Thanksgiving. so Yeah, a lot of them are closed. So, yeah, it's it's probably going to be mostly virtual for them. a lot of them. Yeah, so get ready, guys. Hit that link. Yes. But here's how you can help. Use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, the network, and... And of course! That that figure in the back smoking his cigar, Rob, Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain! He's so a legitimate businessman. Uh, <laughs> is he? That's my stash, Charlie. <laughs> yes, he is. Please kick me in the pants. Little little fire. <laughs> If you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 86, or, of course, Lilith Hellfire 69. And also, if you are on TikTok and you're confused and lost as I am, please follow me. I will follow back at Lilith Hellfire 69. I'm 12 when you need me to be 12. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't feel like they went in deep enough. <laughs> Oh no, they went in. This is a very well in depth issue. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Throw it in. in your booty. In your booty. <laughs> uh, yes, we're 12. This isn't Wade's World. Those are Wade's World quality drops. Don't let Wade's World infect everything else. Like the herpes. All right, everybody. Thank you.
remember, justice is blind and swift, just like Wolf on Saturday night. Good night.